Ask any woman, hair is such a crucial part of their identity and can often come with its own set of challenges. Yeah, and that can be especially true for black women, right? When they're asked to conform and wear hairstyles that don't cater to their natural curls and coils. Yeah, so there's a new short film about it focusing on a young dancer. So let's take a look at a little bit of Crown. And that hair will have to be in a bun. Mm. All right, so that's the issue, getting textured hair to stay in a bun. The film Crown premieres tonight in Brooklyn. Joining us to talk about the film and the hairy issues it presents <laughs> are co-writer and co-director Charisma J and film star Nyrene S. Brown. So good morning, ladies. How are you doing? Good morning. Bring in the color, bring in the yeah. energy. <laughs> yeah, so great to have you guys here. So, Charisma, you are a dancer, an actress, a singer. Um, so, tell us how, how the film how, yeah. yeah, how did the film originate, first of all? So, it's actually based on my life story. I was a young dancer. I was that young dancer who had big curly hair and didn't have all the products that are now available, mm -hmm. right? So, when I was growing up, it was a struggle to get my hair to stay. And I actually had a dance teacher who told me, you have to get your hair straight into a bun because it was that aesthetic that mm. they were going after. And my hair did not stay. Inevitably, my hair would come out of that bun and just free the fro. <laughs> yeah. So when we thought about how we could translate that story, it's a story that I experienced not mm. only directly, but even with some of my students. I have a school in Brooklyn, Abundance Academy of the yeah. Arts, and all of our students go through so much trauma when it's time for showtime because they have to yeah. get their hair in this ideal. So for the last 10 years, I've just decided, show up in your natural essence, to the show, if it needs to be braided, if it needs to be twisted, or if you have locks, you are still welcome and can perform without it being something that you're not allowed to do. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I love the story. I love the message. Um, and for and Nyreen, you know, you are not new to the acting world. I mean, you got so many big parts. Abbott Elementary, just one of them among so many, right? I mean, yes, Abbott I mean, Elementary, yeah. Swarm, Ruthless, the list goes on and on. So how'd you get involved in this project? Well, actually, Chris and I went to high school together. Look at this. <laughs> So she transferred to LaGuardia. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, we stayed in contact the whole time, even because I'm also a dancer. Yeah. So we stayed in contact throughout college and obviously oh, throughout our Rockette. adult years. Mm -hmm. I also was a Radio City Rockette for well, eight years. Yeah. Um, and Wicked. And Wicked on Broadway. So I'm, we're both New Yorkers. I'm representing Queens. Curtis was representing Brooklyn. Yes. <laughs> and actually, I love the story. When Curtis called me, he was like, I need you to be a part of it. I said, absolutely, sis. I got you. No problem. My hair story was actually that I didn't go natural until I saw the movie Good Hair that was yes. produced Great. by Chris Rock. Yes. And it was so informative, it was so beautiful that I was just like, I want to go natural. Mm -hmm. um, because we get into the routines of just doing what our parents tell us to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, what's funny is that in this role of Crown, I am the parent who is trying to <laughs> make my daughter do what I want her to do with her hair. Yeah. So it just was so so close and so um, inspiring that I just had to be a part of it. Awesome. And we're just so grateful to have Nyreen. I mean, it is full circle because we met in ninth grade. Yes. Yes. That, that is amazing. Awesome. And we met as dance majors and mm -hmm. went through a lot of struggles together, just yeah. becoming the women that we are today. So to be able to have Nyreen sign on and jump in, she was mm -hmm. like so hands-on wanting to get the character flushed out helping wherever she could backstage right. to Absolutely. produce. It's just like really super yeah. rewarding. Yeah. But it is such an important topic because it's yes. relatable for a lot of women of color, especially with the passing of the Crown Act. Correct. For those that aren't familiar with it, can, can you explain? Yeah, so the Crown Act, the acronyms Crown, are to create a respectful and open world for natural hair. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's crazy that there are so many ways that women of color have pause when they have to appear professional. Mm. You know, even coming here today, it's like, should I wear my hair curly? Like, is that gonna be yeah. enough? Or, you know, we've been in roles before where you're like trying to fit in to whatever that dynamic is. And so with the Crown Act, there are so many states that have not passed this act. New York thankfully yes. has. Yes. <laughs> and with the Crown Act, it's really to identify the ways in which hair discrimination exists. Yeah. And to just eradicate that, because right. we should be able to show up as our whole selves and right. celebrate. And yes, you absolutely. Correct. And, and and now that I have a daughter, I'm paying very close attention to hair because I'm going to have to do this very soon. She's <laughs> only about to turn a year. Uh, but you know, I, and I also go to my goddaughter's dance recitals, and everybody's hair is in a bun. Everyone's so for a dancer, yes. what's the alternative? A puff. Yes. 
You know, so I understand, you know, I've, I've been doing my research in, like, what is the bun, right? Like, mm -hmm. it, it's just something that somebody said to do, similar yeah. to the pink tights. It's just something someone said, and then it be became the, the rule. The new standard. Exactly. Right. And so with that being said, it's, yes, it's very helpful that you have your hair kind of pulled back if you're going to do pirouettes or if you're going mm. to do jumps. You want something that's not going to distract you. Yes. Yeah. However, right. or be if, distracting. Or be distracting. Exactly. However, if I if I don't have hair that fits all the way into a bun, or if I don't have that texture that can stay straight, mm -hmm. why is it that I have to be forced into this particular box? Right. Yeah. The purpose is like Charisma said is as long as it's out of your face. Yeah. Because it can be distracting when you're trying to spot. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are dancers know what that means, yeah. like with yeah. the pirouettes yep. at the spot. And it's just, it should be alternative options. It's, of course. The bun comes from more so the ballet world, yeah. but you have modern, you have contemporary, and it's just more liberating when you're just able to exactly. just... Dancing is a freeing... It's thing. just a expression. freeing expression, yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. like, why not? Yeah. And, this movie is going to show that this young right. lady is going to start expressing herself the best way she can. Amazing. Well, we love that you're sharing that with us. We're so grateful to be here yeah. and also to just spread this message. The, one of the beautiful things also is that this team, my co-creator and co-director, Nafi, we went to college together. Like, there's so much history in just how we all came to yeah. be. Mm -hmm. And the leading star, the young lady, is one of my former students. Oh, so that's wonderful. She literally, I've known since she was circle. born. So to just <laughs> yes. like, ha like, I helped her to get in to her Performing Arts Academy. She goes to LaGuardia now. Yeah. Kennedy yeah. is going to be a sophomore. That's awesome. And her mom and I went to LaGuardia together. That's so great. there's just so many of <laughs> oh my those gosh, kinds of connections. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, to Charisma. help tell this beautiful story. It's all about the community. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that's how far we go. So that being said, the community needs to get together. Yep. So and come out. And yes. Yes. Come out Please. and see the show. It's a beautiful, beautiful short film. Yeah. And also the community needs to get together so that we can pass this Crown Act in the yes. States. Because right. mm -hmm. it's very important. It's very important. Absolutely. All right, and Charisma. You're helping that happen. All right, Charisma and Irene, thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having us. And I love that we have all the yes, talent. Yes, we coordinated. <laughs> so their film Crown premieres tonight at 8 o'clock at the Major Owens Community Center in Crown Heights. Woo. So great having you here. Thank There's you. Also, a panel discussion afterwards. Everybody stick around for that. And live performances. Tickets, $25. Good luck. Okay? Thank Appreciate you, you both. Thank you.